In the world of Thunderbolt accessories, OWC is one of the renowned brands that I think always pushes the boundaries to its maximum. Now, they have something new called the Thunderbolt Go Dock. I know the box is uh, not entirely closed, but we have really tested it for a while. In essence, by just looking at this accessory here, it looks like a big USB-C dock like many other that are available in the market today. But it also supports one special feature called Thunderbolt Share. So in this video, we're gonna go through all of the details, but first of course is the unboxing. But since we already unboxed everything, I'm just gonna show you that inside at the bottom here, you don't actually get any sort of documentation. Maybe it's just our unit, I don't know. But we don't really need any documentation. What's important is that, of course, the dock itself. This is the size of it, my face for comparison. And then you have a OWC Thunderbolt 4 cable inside the box as well. This is very important and we'll go through later. And of course, there's also another power cable. In terms of ports, the OWC Thunderbolt Go dock has a full-size SD card slot at the front a 3.5mm audio jack, a USB 2.0 port which I think is a little bit weird but OWC claims that this port is for charging and then another USB 3.2 type C 10 gigabits per second port. And at the side here, you have a 90 watt USB-C port and this one is certified for Thunderbolt and you can use this port to charge many other laptops including the uh, most of the MacBook Pros. If it's not consuming 140 watts, then you can use this port to charge your laptop as well. And then at the back here, you have two more Thunderbolt 4 ports, one HDMI, and then 2.5 gigabits Ethernet port, which is very good. And then two more USB 3.2 Type A ports, 10 gigabits per second. The placement of the ports are a little weird. I know the audio jack, if it's placed at the front, means that I can plug in my earphones and whatnot in terms of you know, hot swapping. But then for me, I'm someone who uses a speaker, so I'm gonna leave it plugged in 24 seven. So for me personally, I would prefer the audio jack to be at the back. And same goes to the USB 2.0 port. I would actually prefer two of them at the back so I can plug in my mouse and keyboard to those USB 2.0 ports. That's just how I would like to use this port. But those two Thunderbolt 4 ports though, means that I can plug in my USB 4 external SSDs or anything that is just fast in terms of transfer speeds. Even Thunderbolt 4, uh, what is that thing called again, DAS? Yeah, those work with this port as well. And combined with that 2.5 gigabits Ethernet port with a NAS, we can access files from both sides as fast as possible. It is also a great combination for those who deal with large video files like I do when I'm editing videos. And those two Thunderbolt 4 ports can also be used to connect to external monitors or just portable monitors to this dock and everything works. But then you have to check the compatibility on OWC's website because different devices will support different amounts of monitors, resolutions and whatnot. So that table on OWC's website is very important if you're gonna use it that way. Another way to use those two Thunderbolt 4 ports is by something called Thunderbolt Share like what we mentioned earlier. Yes, there are a lot of requirements to get this feature to work. You actually need two cables to get this feature to work. So one cable is by using the included cable by OWC. This is going to be the main cable and the main cable is going to go to this side port here, the one with a PC logo. This is also outputting 90 watts of power. So I'm going to plug this into this laptop. Oh yeah, make sure your laptop supports, actually all your devices support Thunderbolt. Even desktop can be used as well. Uh, so we'll plug in the first device here. You can see the battery icon, where is it? Battery icon is here, right? Yeah, it's not full charge now. If I plug this in, it still won't be charging because I forgot to plug in the power to the dock. So if I plug in the power, you can see that it will start charging the laptop. Okay, okay. So for the second port, we're gonna use this cable. So this cable, it's not actually certified Thunderbolt 4 cable. It is actually just USB 4, 40 gigabits per second cable. I've tested it and it works. I have no idea why. And uh, I'm gonna connect 
this one to one of the Thunderbolt 4 ports behind the dock. So if I plug this into the other laptop, and then we also need to install the Thunderbolt Share software. This can be downloaded on Intel's website. It's uh, OWC's website, we'll link you to Intel's website. It's the, the, the support page is a bit weird there, but that's how things work. So once Thunderbolt Share app has been installed, you need to launch on both devices. Just treat that this is a desktop underneath the monitor. So what I'm going to do is, oh, it automatically launched Thunderbolt Share. So you can see it is already working. So you can see there are four options here. The first one is just to merely control another PC. Desktop unavailable, I think because the screen is turned off. So control other computer once we launch it. It literally works like remote desktop. If you've worked in companies using remote desktop, it's exactly the same concept. And since this is connected to the same dock within a quote-unquote local area network, uh, you technically have minimal lag and also minimal latency. So uh, it's very responsive. I can just click on all of this stuff. It opens. I mean, remote desktop is the same experience. So secondly, what we can do is to sync files. This is pretty important if you want to keep two computers having the same updated files without going through the cloud and whatnot. This is also very convenient. You can set up to sync whatever folders you want. So it's up to you how you want to set it up. Then the next one is drag and drop files. This is going to give you some sort of FileZilla lookalike interface and it works the same as well. FTP clients, yeah. So for example, if I want to transfer some files from my this computer, this desktop here, and then the other computer's desktop, I want to transfer, let's just say this Windows 11 installation file. I will show you how fast this is. This is like 4.7 something gigabytes. gigabytes. So you can see Thunderbolt 40 gigabits per second. It's really fast. And within just like 10 seconds, the whole file has been transferred. It's amazing. And since everything is local, you won't waste any bandwidth. Amazing stuff. And then lastly, is to transfer all of your data from one computer to the other. You can choose either way. And this is something unlike the syncing files, but it's a just a one-way file transfer. And as what we've shown you just now, since the file transfers are going to be so fast, you can immediately migrate one system to another really quickly. That's one of the benefits of this talk. So one reason why I suggest using this method to transfer files between two PCs locally, rather than going through the cloud, going through external SSDs or going through a NAS is because it's a direct connection. You don't need another device to do everything. And most important of all, as the name suggests, this is a Thunderbolt dock. So just imagine the second PC doesn't exist. I unplug it. And then since this monitor has been powered, I can plug in the HDMI cable and then this dock becomes a basic dock that everyone has on their desktop. See, there you go. So it's just versatile in a way. And if you want to transfer files, like your friends come over to your place, they'd be like, hey, can you transfer me that 40 gigs file for no reason? Then they can just plug in their device to the other Thunderbolt 4 port then you can use Thunderbolt Share, immediately transfer to them as quick as possible, and then they can be on their way. You don't have to sit there and wait or just format your external SSD to make space for that 40 gigabyte file. It's convenient. In a way, this dock can be treated as some sort of KVM since you can control two PCs at once, but most importantly is that you can sync all your files between one PC to the other. So, for example, if you do all your serious work on your desktop, like me, and then you want to carry out your laptop to meet your clients, like what he said. So you can use the syncing feature to sync all of your exported files to the laptop, and then you can just bring that laptop to meet your clients and whatnot. That would be much better than carrying an entire desktop to meet your clients. So for the price of 300 USD, I think if you have use for this dock, then it is fantastic. For me personally, I still think that some of the port placements uh, is a bit weird, but it's okay. Um, yeah, 
So if you have any questions regarding this stock, do leave them down in the comment section below. I would have to say this dock is better than the display link dock that I have.